Hello everyone. So as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be playing with some 4D gels today, trying them out and seeing if I can get them to work. Um, this is sort of a part two of that haul video that I did um, when I was playing around with the 3D moulds. So these are the gels that were also in that video. So I got four of them. Um, I bought them off AliExpress. They are supposed to be model ones. Um, and I did see another YouTuber use them and say they were model ones, even though it doesn't say it on the packaging, which is strange. Um, but anyway, I also got these silicone tools um, because I thought they might be easier to use with this gel rather than the brushes that I was trying to use with the poly gel. So I'll just show you what is in the tub. So I got a white one and I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's actually shimmery. It's got glitter in it, this white one, so it's really pretty. And then I also got a dark pinker one and a light pink one, just to give a bit of difference. Um, what I wanted to do eventually, I've seen people do the 4D flowers with um, acrylic and they use two different colours of acrylic. So they have sort of a darker colour on the edge of the petals and I think that is gorgeous the way they do that. So I thought if I get good at doing this and I have a lot of practice, maybe I can do that. So that's why I wanted all these colours. So yeah, I got the light pink one and the dark pink one and I also got a purple one. Um, I've not used the purple one in this video. I've just been using the pinks and the white, but it's exactly the same consistency as the other ones. So it'll just be the same. So now we've seen it in the pots, I'm going to um, start using it. So let's get on with it. So the first one I'm going to use is this white one. So I'm just going to use my dotting tool um, because I want to make sort of a little ball with it. And I saw um, Natalie Mugridge, she used these gels. Um, they looked exactly the same, the packaging's the same. Um, and she used them and she used water with hers. She wet her fingers and then she sort of rolled it out flat and then she rolled it up into like a coil and she made roses with it like that, which looked really good. Um, but I wanted to try and see if I could use it without the water. Um, you can see when I rubbed it on my fingers there, there is a little bit of sort of residue that's come off. So they are a bit sticky, they're so different than the poly gel because obviously the poly gel I couldn't touch it with my fingers without using alcohol. I have got a little pot of alcohol um, but I didn't really need to use it much because this stuff doesn't come off onto the brush, it just sort of stays where it is and, and that's what's really good about it. So now that I've put it on that um, swatch stick I'm going to just use a couple of these silicone tools and see which ones I like the best or see if I can use them at all. So I just dip it into the alcohol just a little bit just so that it doesn't stick. I don't know if you need to do that or not, I just wanted to do that little extra step just so I didn't get it everywhere because of what just happened with my finger, I didn't want to spread it. So I'm just going to try and lightly press and see what it's like. Um, so the silicone tool is obviously harder than the brush so it is breaking that gel up a little bit it's not um it's not just pressing it down obviously i'm being a bit too hard with it i need to be softer with it but i'll get there with practice when i use it i'll know exactly how hard to press on it and i think once i've got used to using these silicone tools i'm going to prefer these than the brush because with the brush you constantly getting the bristles in the right position and flattening them, flattening them out again and you know making sure they're all together and not separated before you can actually use it on the gel so that's why I thought these silicone tools would be better I just need more practice so that I don't press too hard because this gel is very very soft I was expecting it to be quite hard you know like plasticine because some people call it plasticine gel but I don't know if you've ever used plasticine recently, but it is pretty hard. And this stuff isn't anything like plasticine. It's really, really soft. So you literally touch it with the silicone tool and it, it breaks it up. So I have to be really, really gentle with it. So yeah, this first, um, I tried to do a petal with it at first and it didn't really work. So I had to squash it back again. But that's what's really good about this stuff. If you mess it up, with the poly gel when I messed it up, you can sort of press it and do it again, but the more alcohol you put on it, the more you break down the product and eventually you do just have to wipe it off and start again with another bead. 
but this stuff because I'm not putting alcohol into it if I make it a mess I make a mess of it I just squash it back up into a ball and just start all over again and you can mess around with it as much as you want so I love that about this stuff so I'm liking it already so I'm going to try with the other colours and I'm going to try and do some petals with it. I'm going to try with the sil silicone tool and with the brush just to get myself a bit more used to it. Every bead that I do I am going to rub in between my fingers to make a ball first. Um, and yeah I'm just going to put some music on now while you watch me do it and see if it's a success or a fail. So I'll come back to you at the end. okay so I'm not so sure whether I prefer the brush or the silicone tool at the moment I seem to have better control with the brush but I think that's just a practice thing so I will get there in the end so yeah um, I've made a flower and it's um, it's not too bad I think it's really cute and I love that I've got the different colors um, so that's gonna look great on some different like background gel polishes and stuff so I can't wait to have a proper play with that I think um, I'm going to do a collaboration on 3D um, art with Sarah from Pumpkin's Nail Station. I don't know when we're going to get around to that because we're both really busy at the moment, but we will get it done. 
so yeah here is my little flower um, I hope you like this video and let me know if you've used this 3d gel and what your tips are because I'm new to this so any tips would be appreciated um, yeah and I will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing and yeah I'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.